So it's my last day on set. Um, it's raining outside, but it looks like it stopped. Set got pushed back an hour, so I guess that we can get everything done, even if it's a bit moist out. Because um, if not, then I'm going to have to stay here a day longer, and that's going to be fucked up, because on Tuesday we're doing Epic Meal Time Live. So it really fuck things up. Um, I ordered a breakfast here. Still thinking about Rogue One last night, and uh, the reason why I didn't get a video up last night at the same time as I have every other day this week is because uh, I came home late from the Star Wars movie, and I just wanted to make sure that everything I was showing in Sideshow wasn't secret, like I wasn't accidentally revealing something that I shouldn't be doing, I'm fucking up some company. So, yeah. <laughs> Guys, guys, it's dong attack. It's dong attack. Remember I told you about dong attack? This is him. I don't know if anyone went to go look at him. This is dong attack. I trusted this guy with my brand. That was really stupid of you. I know. Guys, Greg, over here. Um, what are we doing? I forgot what this meeting's about. We're, we are gonna go make a television show. This meeting's about getting rich. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood Jew. <laughs> Greg. One of the first people I've worked with in Hollywood six years ago. He was there when Muscles Glasses was still around. He produced Epic Meal Empire. He is an office at NBC. He's a real human being, which is rare in this city to be an exec and be a human being. I value him professionally, but most of all, I value him as a friend. Also, his Instagram handle is Dong Attack. Hey, Greg, do you mind if I, uh, mind if I film your weird stuff that you do? Go ahead. When you're working? So anytime I'm on a phone call with you, I could just assume that you're building like these like... That's what I'm doing. These like Stonehenges out of staplers. Yeah, it, staplers. it really just started. I've only been in this office a couple days. It's Staplehenge. That's, Look at this thing that's too. stupid. I'm working on some. This this one is a little bit more conceptual. Whoa. <laughs> this yeah, this looks like alien civilization writing. Yeah. Like exactly. how aliens write with pieces of metal. Like it, the Earth is here. So if you were on the Earth, you wouldn't it wouldn't look like anything. But if you're in space, it's obviously it's some sort of a landing. Have, strip. have you seen the arrival? Fuck yeah. Yeah, this is that language that they gifted us. Guys, with Greg, uh, good right. news happened, so many details, and you might never ever witness what happened here, um, but something will happen, art will be made. Yeah. Art, I don't, cool. I don't know if I would say art. Well, TV for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you don't, what's... No, TV is art, it's my job is art, it's, I'm an yeah. artist. This is an artist. Dong attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the way, huge shout out to everyone that wished him a happy 54th birthday. Yeah, really I was 53. I was clearly lying. 53. All right, you're right there, Greg. Everyone, suck a dick. Yeah, right. Where is Muscle's glasses? Bring that dude back. I don't know what happened to him. What is this? Not that I want it, but like, where's this guy's dick? What's happening? Why is he posed like that? Why is this in the candy store? I was like, look at this. I was like, oh wait, I know this guy. It's Alex Mandel. I should fuck with this. What is this? It looks like, this looks like, I look at this shit and I'm like, content. Thanks, Alex. Baby clothes. Not that funny. That's funny. We were told it's buy one, get one. Buy one, get one, half off, yeah. And then we can pay in banana runs. <laughs> the manager, where's the manager? She said that we could pay in banana runs. Oh, here you go. Do you want these? I'm, I'm good. I just ate. They're gross because they've been in my hand for so long, but I hate the banana ones. Okay, well, okay, money then. Honestly, Matt and Steve, whenever they see movies, I always see them talking about it on Facebook, and I'm always like, oh, I wish I saw it with them. But now I get to go to the movie and firsthand experience them both shit talk it immediately after the movie. <laughs> I talk and not the movie. I'm like, stupid. <laughs> I don't have to wait for them to talk about it on Facebook. I'm just gonna walk on there and be like, that was shit. There's no sound in space. They gave us control to pause the movie yeah. so we can all yell about the scenes we don't like and Rogue, then hit play. Rogue One BT though. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> Hold on guys, wait. There's a plot hole here. Dude, I'm hopeful for this one. I really am. Get it? Do I do get it? I, I, I like I'm new hopeful. I like I like episode one and I liked what? episode seven I yeah I liked all of them the pod race scene is hold okay everything else is garbage I like the Fantastic Four movie no hold on Wait, you're talking all, about Roger all of them <laughs> what? all of them yeah yeah I didn't the only Marvel movie I haven't liked is Elektra I like Daredevil with Ben Affleck. Yeah, I can disappoint. I can continue to disappoint you, really you guys. Love Evanescence. You connect with Evanescence. <laughs> See, 
you were like, hey, oh, that this tank and everyone else on the that rain, The rain scene was beautiful, <laughs> and you can't pick that. You guys, it's a we want to see Star Wars. Wars. We're about to see a Star Wars movie. I mean, Star Trek. No, no. and you know what? You know what? I would be just as excited, personally. Do wait? Do you guys like Star Trek? I like this. I, 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 I like Star Wars. Oh. No, That's the TARDIS one. <sighs> you are not blessing all the trap Jews right now. I'm excited for this though. <laughs> that will be good. Batman. That will be good. Um, I actually was in the candy store and I was looking at this and I was like, two things. One, where's his dick? Not that I, not that I need it. And number two, what does this have to do with candy and why is it in the candy store? And lastly, why would you want me to sign your... Please promise me you or your dad will wear it. I, I will definitely wear it. He will wear it. This is the second has, set. This is the second one. Is it really? This is my second one. Hold Who on, are you? Sicko. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're going to Star Wars. Eat it! Star Wars. Yeah. yeah, on 10, what you think? Uh, 8. 8. 8. eight. You're so good at curbing. Like, I, know. I just got out, so I'm like, 10.5. 10, 10. Do you have a good point about the post credits? I might give that a 10. Right? Yeah, yeah. it is. We, we found it, guys. Honestly, sickest post credit scene it's ever. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Just really. close your eyes the moment it ends, go home, pop in a Blu ray and New Hope, and then yeah. watch that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Two and a half hours. So I liked it. I thought it was a Star Wars. I liked it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a Star Wars. Wars. I think it was an entire Star Wars we watched. <laughs> Ending. Like I feel like it's so sad and hopeful too, but the CG stuff creeped me out, man. Yeah. Uncanny Valley, too much. <laughs> West yeah, West. they uh, they they basically like threw a couple like I don't know, that's like a tad spoilery, eh? A little, yeah, maybe. Little. Yeah. Crank up the fucking heat, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Hollywood. Even the fire's fake. <laughs> Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. This is the tale of the canceled TV show. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, it was my last day on set and uh, I actually didn't give you a tour of my space which is a lost opportunity because this is really cool. It's not always, um, believe it or not, not every production gives me like my own space or anything like that. Sometimes I gotta put my bag down in Jim's office or whatever. In this case, I didn't have to put my bag down in Jim's office. I am fucking Jim's office, baby. I don't know what that means, I am Jim's office, but basically uh, I got this whole trailer to myself and uh, it's cool, there's a fridge, there's some shit popping off in the fridge, there's that mirror over there, I got snacks, and I thought I would give you a little tour. Um, it is obviously a mobile home, but still, uh, people, people sleep there and have sex, I bet. Um, not, not here, not when I was here, that's for sure. My couch, my cutting boards, and sink was so muddy. Today was so muddy, I actually got stuck in the mud in my car. Okay, what the fuck? Get, get, get. Whoa, I just unintentionally did like Michael Jackson dance moves. This is not, this is not gonna look good when I walk back to the set. Um, but, shit. But when I first got here today, uh, the car got stuck in the mud, but I've been trained in ice and snow, so I was able to get myself out. And uh, that's exactly what I did. But there's mud all over the all over the place here. And today was almost canceled because of rain and that would have been sucky. So I'm happy we got it done. Here I got my desk set up, uh, posted up at the computer here, uh, editing whenever I get a chance in between shots. That's basically the definition of the grind. The grind is you can go and be on a TV show, but just because you're on a TV show doesn't mean you shouldn't be uploading daily. It doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing everything you can. I mean like, I'm fully capable of being on the Food Network and being on Epic Meal Time. Coming up with, you know, content for my Instagram and coming up with recipes. And that's what the grind is. It's not about like, you know, being like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm on TV. I don't need the internet anymore. It's about being on TV, maximizing on the internet, and at the same time, write a fucking book. And at the same time, start streaming live. Do everything you can. If you are really passionate about the grind, then you will actually grind. You're not gonna be like, huh, well I'm on TV. I can, I can say goodbye to this and that. Even if I am on Food Network, I'm still gonna pull through and make shit happen on Epic Meal Time, because there's seven million people out on Epic Meal Time that at one point in time hit the subscribe button. So for them, I stay on that grind. Let me take you to the back. 
Um, this is interesting because uh, I actually um, had some dude come here that I met on the internet and I went ahead and I bought all those Mike Mitchells. Remember me and Adam Sand were talking about them in one of my vlogs? So uh, here are the ones that I got. So here I got this Hulk. Gotta be gentle with these because I'm gonna get them framed and put them up. And they're all prints, but they are all signed. Craven, Dr. Octopus, Venom. Now with Craven, Dr. Octopus, and Venom, I literally have half of the Sinister Six. I'm missing um, three fucking losers I don't care about. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, Vulture. I actually didn't even care about Craven. I just got a deal on him. I love the Deadpool. I can't believe I got my hands on a Deadpool. He's so great because once again, like even in the art, he's breaking the fourth wall and looking at you and waving. I love it. The guy I bought them off of, he didn't want to separate from his Star Wars ones, which I understand. Um, for Star Wars, I got Luke, Boba Fett, an AT-AT driver, pilot, whatever. Nightcrawler's awesome. This is one that I might even maybe pose upside down, you know what I mean? Now, it's not like anyone wants Red Skull by himself. But like I would, it's so, I think it looks so awesome. Doesn't one look cool? I love it. I love the Red Skull. But what's really great about having Red Skull is it got my hands on cap also. So, I'm gonna pose those bad boys together like that. Does that look cool? Yeah. And like, that's sick. And like this, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame these and they're gonna look way better also. As always, like honestly, my, my favorite, maybe my favorite Marvel female, I think a lot of guys like Rogue because it's like you want what you can't have and no guy can have Rogue because she'll kill you. Um, which is funny because as a big fan of the cartoon, the X-Men cartoon is probably what got me into Marvel. Um, Wolverine was always obsessed with Jean Grey and Jean Grey was spoken for. So I was like, Wolverine, why don't you go for Rogue? Because like if anyone can handle that ass, it's you because of your healing factor. You're the only guy that can handle this piece right here, yet you were obsessed with Jean Grey who was spoken for. It always bothered me. I wanted him to tap that. Oh, my bad. Mysterio. I have four of the Sinister Six. I'm missing Vulture and Electro, or Shocker. Electro and Shocker, like why do they both have to exist? Are they both in the Sinister Six? Wait, is Mysterio in the Sinister Six? Craven is. Venom is not in the Sinister Six, is he? Shit, I don't know. I'll Google it. Fuck it, I'm not even gonna Google it. You guys Google it. Let me know in the comment section. Here's Thor. Um, it's too bad, it's it's beardless Thor. The guy I got it from, he had a bearded Thor, but he didn't want to separate from him. If I do find a bearded Thor, I'll, I'll pose them together for sure. And then Iron Man. So I mean, I have Iron Man, Thor, what? Oh, he's smiling. Feel me? Mike's am hyped up? <laughs> so I got Iron Man. Iron Man. Thor, Captain America, um, Hulk, which I love that the Hulk is the only one that's big, because he's the Hulk. Uh, I've almost got the Avengers at that point. I just need Hawkeye, and uh, who I'll probably never get around to getting. And uh, yeah, Black Widow. And Vision, Scarlet Witch. I'll find Scarlet Witch. I like how she looks. She's a cool one. But these are awesome. I love them. And I'm literally gonna go home and I'm gonna get them framed right away. And uh, then probably, you know, post up with Andy and figure out the best way to arrange them, you know? You're cute. Yeah, that is. I know it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. I didn't know it did that. Oh my god, and by the way, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna freak out. I didn't bring another pair of shoes with me, so like, look how destroyed my boots are and I love them. I know Amir, if Amir watches this, which he probably isn't going to, he's gonna be like, oh my God, sauce boss, I would never, I would never. That's right, Amir, you wouldn't, but I ain't you, boy. I ain't you, boy. I'm a Jew, boy. Jew, boy. All right, yo, leave me a comment. Not because of algorithm or anything, it doesn't really affect the algorithm, I know that, just leave me a comment so I got some shit to read when I'm taking a shit. Brr!